Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH and I am back for a low vision spotlight video. This time we're looking at a game that I've been meaning to get recorded for a while now. And I don't know, for whatever reason I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, we are looking at Transformers Devastation. This is a game that kind of came out of nowhere early this year. And uh, when they announced... Actually... I'm trying to think of... I don't think we knew anything about it until about E3 in June. They just released a trailer or something like that. Now, there have been a few modern Transformers games. Um, you know, especially starting with the Michael Bay... Uh, games based on the Michael Bay movies, you know, that had the more realistic style. Which, I, I played the first one. I think I played a little bit of the second one. I mean, I own them on Steam, at least the first couple. Um... They were okay, but being a true Transformers fan from the 80s, of course the game that we all really wanted was a game based on the original G1 cartoon, because it's Transformers, that's what matters, right? Um, the classic cast of characters, Autobots, Decepticons... Um, and when I saw the trailer, and I saw that Platinum Games was developing this game, and Platinum Games are known for really good action games. Um, I mean, Bayonetta. Um, I can't even think of them all. I mean, they, they've done... That's their forte. I mean, Platinum Games just makes... They usually make... They've had one or two flops, but generally they make some pretty kick-ass um, action games. And... When I saw the art style and I heard that they were making it, I'm like, okay, this is going to be pretty awesome. At least it has the potential to not suck. And I'm going, please don't suck. Please don't suck. The good news is, um, you know, it's not going to win any Game of the Year awards. But if you're a Transformers fan, this game kicks ass. Um, I haven't beat it yet because I got distracted by too many other games and recording videos and such. But... I will pop into the beginning chapter here just to show you guys. Um, Transformers Devastation, basically, it looks way better than the cartoons in a way. It kind of it, it kind of looks like what you would imagine the original cartoons looking like. So main menu here, we've got really nice large text. Easy to tell what's being highlighted. We got to continue. I could continue my main chapter that I'm in right now, but we're not going to do that. Story mode. This is where I can go back and choose a chapter that I want to play. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Challenge mode. Haven't really played in that too much, but basically it's like where you can go in and choose a level and then you can do all kinds of stuff there, like meet challenges. Just some more replay collectibles there. You can get collectibles through options and exits. So let's go into. We're just going to start story mode from the beginning because I'm currently on chapter 3 right now. Uh, I think there are 6 chapters, maybe? Um, the campaign, from what I hear, is pretty short. And like I said, I just need to get, you know, sit down for a day and just finish it off. But, uh, yeah, so let's just start. Um, this text is a little bit harder, <coughs> hard to read. Some of these dialogue boxes here. Um, white text on a light bluish background. Mm, not what I would call great. Um, but at least the text is large. Um, you will encounter some of that. Let's, let's, but let's go. I should also mention, most uh, of the original voice actors are here. Look at that. I gotta remember how to play, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, the big old tentacle thing. Constructicons. Megatron. Nice. Sound wave. Insecticons. Plasma energy. 
Also detected. So good. It seems our theory may have been correct, Soundwave. But plasma energy is unstable. No Cybertronian has been able to tame it since since the Golden Age. He is a little bit off, but the, unfortunately. Back, Starscream, and watch me tame it as I have tamed you. The voice actor for Starscream is dead. These days, Megatron. Passable. Passable, though. Where they did, where they could, though. Okay, we got a little Decept Decepticon story back there. Optimus. Bumblebee. Oh, I love it. Transformers Devastation. Yep, gotta have the classic sound. Hell yeah. Autobots, I am all right. We will rendezvous later. Yes. And of course, I start out as Optimus Prime. Why wouldn't you? That's awesome. Okay, I gotta remember what my controls are. That's my heavy attack. Uh, I don't know what B does again. Okay, there. So I can go into. There's my gun. I can transform with my R. Um, right trigger. Oh yeah, that's like a power attack. All right, I think I sort of got this. We'll figure it out again. Okay, that's how I do my ground pound. Just trying to remember the controls here. All right, well, I think we're in it now. So, oh, I know what B does. I can pick stuff up. So, like, if I find a... So, if I find a... Come in. Is this Cybertronian technology? I think so, Optimus. They're creating hurricane force winds like they're trying to sweep the city clear. Whatever their purpose, there is more to the situation than meets the eye. <laughs> All right, so yeah, B. Can't pick that up. I know sometimes I can pick up like cars and buses and stuff. Uh, I think that's what B does. All right, so we're just going to wander around a little bit here. I think we're going to get into our first battle coming up. Here we go. Yep. I got to crank up my sound a little. Hopefully this is loud enough for you guys. That's so cool. All right. Basically, this is your action. Oh yeah. Okay. Now you see when there. I'll point it out again. When you see oh that thing right there. Oh, let's pick this up. Ha ha! Come here, buddy. Where are you? So it's giving me some uh, little tool tips here. Again, it's not the clearest. I, I wish that they had better contrast for that. Um, but at least, you know, it, it, it's a, I like that it's a box and that it just doesn't appear and disappear like some tutorials tend to. And it shows you kind of what to expect when you uh, in that little window there. I like that. Okay. Oh, there we go. So when you see that little kind of indicator underneath the enemy, that long kind of bar, I mean, it's just for pure chaos right now, so... Okay. I gotta fight some dudes here. Some jets. Alright, Seekers. Suck it! Alright. Yeah, they will. We're good God. 
Boom. Get my freaking arm cannon. Oh, God. The hell? Did I... Oh, okay. I was like, did I die? Okay, I gotta go that way. Alright. Yep. Power-up's cool. Alright. So, I mean, but this is pretty much your action game, you know? You can... You got your light and heavy attacks. You got a ranged attack. You've got all kinds of stuff there. Um... Okay, we got this. What is this again? Okay, I gotta... There we go. Okay. Bust down the gate. So there's a few different types of blockades that happen. And I'm just trying to remember how they all work. I said you have to forgive me for... Uh, it's been a little while since I said I... I don't know why I just stopped playing this. Like, I really... I liked what I played so far. It's just I got distracted by other games and other things and busy at work and stuff, and I just haven't gotten back to Transformers. But I clearly need to because this game is, like I said, if you're not a tr huge Transformers fan, you know, it's just like, okay, it's just another action game. But if you liked, if you grew up with Transformers in the 80s like I did, uh, and if you love the original, like, cartoony G1 stuff, um, oh, okay, uh, wait, where, where did that go? Shit. Oh, come on! Boom! Doing it. Alright. Um, but if you grew up with them, this is the closest thing, this is the closest thing to the Transformers game that you've always wanted. Um, if you love the original Transformers, you're gonna want this game. Um, you know, you can play through it. There's different difficulty levels, of course. Um, I play through it on, like, normal, or if, you know, like I said, I mean, if you want to play through it on easy just to get through the story for the first time and, you know, get some replayability to play it on harder difficulties later, sure, go for it. Haha, <laughs> transform, baby. All right, let's do this. It is semi-time. Okay, we got to dodge all this stuff. Haha. <laughs> hey, Bumblebee, how you doing? Okay. Yep, that's my ground pound attack. So, uh, there we go. You'll see a lot of those throughout the levels. All right, thank you, Bumblebee. Okay, we came from there, and I think we're gonna climb up on this building up here, and we're gonna chuck that. There we go. I'm not gonna play too far into this, but I, I mean, I definitely, I have to show you some, there's some cool shit coming up here pretty soon. Um, which is actually kind of ludicrous when you see it. Um, it's amusing, but kind of awesome. Okay, how does this work again? Uh, let's see, what is it telling me here? Oh, dodge. Using right bumper. Okay. This part I always sort of suck at. Ow. Yeah, that I totally... Okay. Alright, I'll try not to embarrass myself too badly. Ow! Suck it! There we go. Uh. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. It is on now. The camera can get a little spastic, but I mean, there's so much stuff going on in some of these levels that it's kind of understandable. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, oh I did it too late. I keep... I have to get used to doing that. Here, I'll do it. Okay, here we go. Nice. You get this cool ram ability, so when you, if you time it right, you kind of get this finisher move. Okay. Kind of digging the cool metal soundtrack we got going on here. A little metal orchestra. I love it. Got Grimlock, which is awesome, and yes, you get to play as Grimlock. 
The one thing that is kind of a bummer in a way where they could improve is um, you only play as certain Autobots. Oh, I can't go out there? Okay. Um, okay. Oh, I gotta kill you guys. Got it. Okay. Um, you don't play as any Decepticons. You only play as Autobots, which, I, like I said, I if I'm if I can play as Optimus Prime, that's great. I would love to play as Megatron. <laughs> and that is the original voice. Like I said, it's, you get the original voice actor of all these dudes, like Bumblebee, Megatron, Optimus, Grimlock. Like it's just. Nostalgia is a huge factor of liking this game. Is this where I switch to Bumblebee? I know I switch characters pretty soon. Right away you don't have control. Oh, Devastator. Devastator. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Devastator. He you will fight him a lot in this level. All right, time to get my ass kicked. Ram it. And I think I'm playing on, like... I think I switched it to easy for this video, just so it's easier to... Because it's actually... Even on normal, you got to dodge right when... Like, you got to be pretty accurate, because <laughs> you can get your ass kicked quite easily. I died several times. There, there's on... Like, in the first level alone, you... Like... There's basically, there's a lot of these, like, no-name guys. Boy, I just kicked his ass. Um. Um. You have the kind of no-name guys we've been fighting. <clears throat> but then when you get into key... When you get into f key uh, characters, those are bosses and mini-bosses. Okay, this is cool. Now I switch to Bumblebee. I'm so fast. Oh, I love that. I'm just running around because it's fun. He's got a faster gun. Pretty soon I will be able to show you... Um, I will be able to show you... Like, where you can switch characters, and you... Th there's a whole, like, weapons upgrade and purchase system in here. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, crap. I totally screwed that up. Yeah, see, I can do that. Alright, so we're just going to cruise this, uh, I'm not even really paying attention. Okay, here we go. I should be paying attention to where I'm supposed to go more. I'm just, like, jumping around, practicing all my abilities here. Okay, we got another one of those. This way, was it? Here we go. Hit it, Bumblebee. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Got it. And I like the fact that you can, like, you... Ah. Uh. Okay. Go this way. Oh, yeah, the big old this thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty... Ow. Oh, shit. Okay, the, and I gotta dodge, too. So you gotta watch his shadow. Ow. And not do that. There we go, ram. That ram attack is crucial for a lot of damage. Wow. Either my guys... It's... I wonder if it's because I'm leveled up. I did not, like... This took a lot longer the first time. I really think it's because, uh... Like I said, I'm on chapter 3 right now, and so my guys are leveled up a little bit. So I'm just, like, destroying these guys coming back. Um, let's see. The other thing that I would say that is kind of... Mm, 
I guess you could say is a bad thing is that um, okay so these things you can I can either go through them or I can lock on and kill them um, but this kind of city acts as your hub so in the first level you have this is where you're going through the second level you're in this underground thing and that's its own level sort of thing and how do I boost I don't remember how to Ow. Okay, that works. <laughs> Megatron. Let's see which part is this. What is the meaning of this? Optimus. Come to save the day, I presume. I am here to stop you from destroying the city. Stop me? <laughs> oh, Prime! You have no idea what you're really up against, do you? Who is really behind this? This is our home now, Megatron. We should respect it. No matter, Prime. I have no interest in destroying Earth. But I'm not opposed to making a few... Shall we say, improvements? <laughs> Bumblebee, you've got to break through Megatron. Nice. Okay, so... I am Bumblebee, and I'm taking on Megatron. That's funny as shit. Okay, so, uh, what do we do here? To perform, to perform attack, get max speed. Uh, okay, I think I just have to get up to max speed, and then, okay. I think I know what we gotta do here. So we gotta, ow. Okay, hold on. Nice. I'm Bumblebee and I'm kicking the shit out of Megatron. <laughs> Not really realistic and like l true lore, but it's still funny as hell. I am just kicking the shit out of him. Man. Yeah, it's definitely because I leveled up because... Wow. Yeah, that was so much easier. Holy crap. It's kind of fun just going back to earlier levels and just destroying things. This is cool. Okay. I think we switch again. I think this is... What did we play? Wheeljack, I think his name is? Yep. Alright, so we switched... Uh, switch characters again. Alright, cool. Uh... Okay. Alright, so you get the idea there. Uh, but what I was trying to say before we get into the battle is, like, this city kind of acts as a hub, from what I can tell, because basically in level 3, you're basically back to the same kind of city, and it's like the same environment, kind of. Um, like, it feels very similar, just like a different time of day, and uh, things are a little bit more wrecked, or a little bit more cyber, you know, they're, they're basically the Decepticons are trying to turn this, turn this city into another Cybertron at this point. So that's why you see all these kind of, you got the regular buildings, but then you've got these, um, you know, the weird stuff off in the distance there, and uh, you'll see some more kind of stuff like that. Um, kill it! <laughs> okay. Actually, you know what? I should have done just that ground pound. That would have worked better. Um, I think we're going to fight more... Okay. More ground enemies. Alright, let's have a little more fun here. Alright. Sideswipe. Oh, if I... Let's see. I don't know if I have that ability yet. Come on. 
ram him. I was going to try my special attack here. Check this out. Ah. Oh, what do you want me to do? Sorry, I probably should have paid attention. Okay, when your ultimate gauge is full, press. Yeah, okay, that's what I was... Oh, left and... Okay, got it, got it, got it, okay. Okay, I thought it was just the right stick. Watch this. Everyone has their own. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just this complete wrecking machine. Um, you basically have this, you know, your typical ultra, ultra, ultimate power-up uh, meter that you can get. Uh, once you fill that up, you just just devastating attack. So, okay, fair enough. That was Teltran. Teltran one, I think. Oh, I know what you're planning. So if I bring up the let's see the select button. Let's see what do we got here. Items, stats, map. I'll show you the map real quick. Um, so here is your, you know, your map, kind of your typical, um, typical map system. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, nothing too bad, nothing too complicated. Uh, let's see, let's go into items. I was hoping to find, I want to get to the, the Teltran 1 interface, because that's where you can switch, and I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, so I got my status here. Um, I see, the problem with playing the first level is you probably don't get that ability right away. Well, we'll go straight ahead, and I'll try to, like I said, I, I, I want to show you because... That is another thing I think that this game could do a little better at. Um, is their upgrade system is kind of... I don't know. It's okay, but... Well, let's go this... Oh, I wasn't even paying the slightest bit of attention. Here. Let's just kill all these things. I do like the fact that you can lock on. All right, we'll transform. Whoa. All right, let's go back up here and kill them, huh? Come on. Okay, so I have to... Break the shield. So though I have to go like this. Boom. I kind of wish that that other attack, like your little charge thing, wasn't the right bumper because to me that's not immediately... I mean, you get used to it, but it just doesn't feel like immediately intuitive to hit, to hit that button. Um... I don't know. Let's see. So these... I can break them if I get close to. So the, the, the things with the glow, basically I have to um, turn into vehicle mode and then... Uh, yeah. And yeah, we'll just screw it because I've already done that. So let's just see what's down this way. Um, and you do find little challenges throughout the the level. You'll find, see, like, these things give you boosts if I were in vehicle mode. Whee! All right, we're up here. Oh, okay. Hey, buddy. Big old tentacle thing again. Big old claw. Damn, I just wrecked that thing. Holy crap. Okay. Um... Tempted to go into level three because I want to. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Huh. So I do have multiple weapons that I can choose.
And you can map either, you can actually map melee or ranged weapons to those, depending on how you want to play. And of course, there are different types. Um, you know, some some characters have more, you know, like uh, Optimus generally has his big old arm cannon. There are more rapid fire weapons you can get. Like I said, Bumblebee had his kind of more, he had his faster. I wonder if I was able to get on that roof up there. If that was too high. Okay, hold on. Okay, uh, somehow I don't know how that happened, but here, let's do this. Shunk! Boom! Out of way, blockhead. Alright. Nice little ground pound there. All right, boom. That's fun. Okay, can I destroy this? Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. I'm not even really paying attention to my map. I'm just kind of killing guys and... Okay, so that's a shielded. I can't get through there yet. I don't think... Can I... Let me see if I can charge that. Let me go back here. There we go. Okay, never mind. I can get through that. Cool. Okay. Knock down some trees. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot to say about the gameplay. I mean, if you've played any kind of character action game, this does a pretty dang good job. And like I said, if you are looking for the original uh, G1 Transformers aesthetic, um, this is something you are... Oh, jeez. Ah, I knew... Yeah. Wonder if... Okay. Ow. Here. That was really bad. I was supposed to just cruise through that, but... Let's bust this open. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you are into that, like I said, this is the closest thing to the game. I mean, it's really solid. Uh, it, it plays very well. The camera can get a little spastic sometimes, um, but any kind of character action game does that. Um, yeah, I need... Here we go. Alright, let me see if... Uh, I should almost go into the... The only other thing I really want to show you is the interface um, for choosing... I have no idea where the hell I even am right now. Like I said, I'm just, I've just been wandering around. I should be paying attention to the mini-map on the lower left there, but I really haven't been. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to show you... show you this game. You know, I wanted to show you the, the fact that it's like... You have all of the voice actors it it looks like the original show um just in like a true 3d i think presentation wise they did an excellent excellent job with this um i love it oh man uh i'm not gonna really get my okay I w okay i wasn't sure if i was gonna get enough speed to be able to break that kill it let's see Okay, that works. Okay, more jet. I'll just leave those alone. More enemy combatants. Megatron serious. Yep. All right, let's um main menu. Yeah. Let me load up chapter three just because I want to see if. Story mode. Let's go chapter three. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is th perfect. So before we go into the um, level, we're given the opportunity. My services appear to be required. All right. So there we go. Um, we got this guy. 
<laughs> the medic, of course. Grimlock. He doesn't play as well. Optimus Prime. Bumblebee. So I think I have all of... I think I have all of the... I think I have all the people unlocked. Um, I think there are... What are there? Four or five of them? So basically now when you choose one of these, I can go in... Uh, I can start the game. I can... Uh, let's go into weapons here really quick. And I'll just show you a little bit of that here. Um, so I can equip... Um, synthesize... So, if I go into Synthesize, there's like this weird, like, I can go in here, um, honestly, this stuff was a little bit confusing, um, because you have to basically have the resources, and, um, I'm trying to remember what the heck it was, but, like, you can synthesize new weapons, but you can also, like, you can, if you have a weapon that you like, but you want to give it another property. Um, let's say you have a weapon that you really like the damage, but maybe there's another weapon that you, you know, that you have that has like fire damage or some other sort of attribute to it. You can put that into the other weapon, your main weapon, and then give it some kind of, you know, some sort of side upgrades and stuff like that. So it's it's uh, it's kind of confusing, but like you, once you play with the interface a little bit, you'll get used to it. Um, Text here again is really nice on the left. It's not hard to read. Stuff on the on the right hand side, eh, not too bad. Um, we'll back out of that. Um, maybe I will. Maybe we'll play just a little bit of this level as Grimlock, just so you can see. Grimlock controls a little bit because you know he doesn't he doesn't really turn into a vehicle. He's you know dinosaur and uh, robot. So you've got your you know, he's your Dinobot actually. <laughs> Gold. <laughs> Grimlock. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, um, there is a little bit more. I think we're right now. We're just choosing. Um, if I were to go into the actual, uh, you know, there, there's little icons throughout the levels that you can go into, and you're given a few more options, like you can buy weapons, you can upgrade, there's like a little mini game thing to try to get pieces so you can get better weapons and stuff like that. Um, but this is generally the interface that you will use. So, let's play Grimlock. <laughs> Bite it till it work. Okay, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, here we go. So, tech. Uh, I can go in here. I forgot I was in there. So, let's see. Equip. Develop. Okay, yeah, so this... I forget exactly how this works. Sure, let's try it here. So, I have to get it in that colored area here. Stop. Oh, I... Yeah, I totally biffed that up. All right, well... Eh, no. Alright, so th that's kind of like your your little uh, develop menu for your tech. And you can get some... I've got some really nice stuff that I, I have. One of my Transformers, I think it's Optimus, has a regenerate health uh, ability on one of his items. Status. Lab. What was in here again? Uh... Yeah, so we can buy and sell our weapons here that we want. Um, pretty straightforward there. And, uh, yeah, okay, we got Grimlock selected. Let's start the game. And we'll run around stomping things as Grimlock for a couple of minutes, and then we'll wrap it up here. But this is Transformers Devastation. It is available on PC through Steam, as we're doing here. It is also available on Xbox One and PS4. For the time being, the cyberforming has slowed. But Megatron will undoubtedly go after the plasma core to start it again. And it sprung a leak before it ejected. 
Even if Megatron never gets it, we still have to shut it down. We should scan for deceptor creep activity. That plasma core eject button wasn't targeted. Megatron's gonna need someone to go pick it up. Split up and find a Decepticon. Okay. <laughs> oh, that looks kind of cool. Okay, let's see. And using Grimlock, dodge. Let's see. That is perfect timing and press B. Huh. Okay, I can grapple. Okay, forgot about that. So if I transform, let's see what happens. Now I am dinosaur. And I can breathe fire. That's cool. Hey, buddy. Let's, uh... Man, that is just a rat's nest of... Thing. Ah. See if I can dodge all this stuff. Okay, I have no idea even where the hell I'm supposed to go right now. Uh, yeah, let's go in here. Sure. So, like I said, we're not really gonna progress too far. I just want to basically play a little bit. Oh, how does this work? Can I can I just walk forward with Grimlock? Cause I know. Okay, maybe I gotta still go to dinosaur mode. All right, cool. Okay. How do I break this? Uh, see, I have not really played with Grimlock all that much, so... Um, because I can't go fast with him, Grimlock is pretty slow. <clears throat> Maybe I can just jump over... Okay, I can just jump over it. All right, fair enough. So these are little connecting areas. Uh, you'll get these from time to time. And let's see what's up here. Oh yeah. Oh, hey, we got a. Really? All right, there we go. We got our. The other negative I would say about this game is that it seems like. Um, it seems like that you have to, like, y you want to play as all the, all of the Transformers, but the problem is, you really only level up when you play, so you're kind of incentivized to really stick to it, you know, like, you know, play the game a little bit in the beginning, figure out which Transformer you like best, and then kind of you're incentivized to kind of stick to that Transformer, because otherwise you, you keep switching and then your other Transformers, they're not leveled up as much and it just takes a lot more to uh, to do. So, like I said, I was kicking this guy's ass before, but now... Okay, ow! Now it's taking a bit longer to... I actually don't really like playing as Grimlock all that much. I'm I'm more of an Optimus Prime guy myself. Bumblebee is kind of cool, but you gotta play as Prime. Yeah, see, by the time I could do that, he's already disappeared. <laughs> okay, where the hell did he go? Where, where did I fall? Okay, here we go. Ow, oh, okay, he froze. Okay. Get, move your ass. Holy crap, there's explosions everywhere here. Alright, where is this stupid arm? Ow! Let's see, where's this arm gonna drop, but... I'm trying to move so it doesn't crush me. Uh-huh. Kill it. Got all kinds of dudes flying around me. Kill the damn tentacle thing. Man, they don't stay down very long either. You got to get to them right away. Okay. Okay, this was an objective. See, this, yeah, this is. I've been here before in the in the first level, 
it's just a different time of day. This is an objective that I had to complete. I had to use that in the first level, so... Um, yeah. Okay, where is that big ass... Did I kill that thing? Big tentacle? No? Okay. Hold on. I, especially for the flying enemies, I love the fact that you can lock on. See, the problem is, is it's cool that you can breathe fire, but... Uh, I need a better ranged weapon here. What, what else does he have? Well... Yeah... The range on this is not very good, so... Um, like I said, Grimlock, he's a cool character, but I don't necessarily... At least so far, maybe I just haven't leveled him up enough and gotten him some abilities, but I don't really actually like playing as him very much. I kind of like playing some of the other Transformers a little bit better so far. Uh, but I am glad you can play as him because he is definitely one of the really iconic uh, Transformers. I mean, he's not he's not a uh, Dinobot, but, you know. So in this game, you know, you're not going to play the Decepticons. You're not going to play as any of the Constructicons or the Insecticons because that's generally, you know, that's that's that side of the the war, essentially. I wonder if we, let's just move on. Um, what do we got here? Screw these guys. Like I said, I, I should be looking at my map because I know I'm looking for one of these... Um, one of these Decepticon things that I'm supposed to grab. But, you know, I think actually now might be a good time to kind of wrap it up. I mean, at least you kind of get the idea. This is, yeah, so this has got a whole bunch of... Um, I gotta be the robot here to get through them. Because these wind blows me way back. Yep. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, well, I think we'll just wrap it up here. But um, that is a quick look at Transformers Devastation. Like I said, it's available on all the current platforms and PC through, through Steam. Uh, the Steam version works very well. I've had no problems with it whatsoever. It works with my 360 or my Xbox One gamepad. Um, works perfectly fine. Like I said, if you are into Transformers, if you like the original G1, you're not a big fan of the, the Michael Bay movies, you want something that is based on the original cartoon that isn't just completely god-awful, um, this is the Transformers game that you have been looking for. Um, if I would have had this game when I was a kid, I mean, just, God, the, this last year, um, in 2015, like, if my... 10-year-old self would have known <laughs> all the cool things that I could play later as an adult, like if I would have had those when I was a kid, um, my 10-year-old self would have lost his mind. Um, a cool Transformers game like this would have been awesome. Um, Mario Maker, where you're making your own levels. Like I said, I talked a little bit about that in my Mario Maker video that I did, um, but just like being able to make and play your own and other people's Mario levels. Um, because remember, you know, in, in the NES days, you would have a lot of franchise games, and the Disney ones were generally pretty decent. Those were pretty fun, and actually, they were very hard. Um, but most licensed games uh, from the you know back then, and even up through now, um, they're getting a little bit better. But the vast majority of the time, licensed games are just crap, or they're just not very good at all. So, um, the only the only Transformers game that I really know of for the NES, I think, was only a Famicom game from Japan. And I watched a video from uh, Angry Video Game Nerd about it. He did a little review of it, and it yeah, it looked just terrible. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of glad that we didn't get a Transformers game growing up, just because it probably would have been terrible. But, uh, yeah, so, you like it? Here you go. This is the game that you have been waiting for for about 20 years. So, yeah, that's Transformers Devastation. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys again later.